What is going on, everybody? It's Stocks here. Welcome back to another car video. Yeah, I'm in the car again. I kind of like doing these videos. It's kind of, you know, cool getting out of the regular setting of being on the laptop, kind of do something different. And I wanted to talk about something in this video that's kind of been on my mind here for the past couple of days. And you saw in the title, it said, if you don't have this mindset, if you don't have um, this particular mind frame, you know, the stock market might not be for you. So there's a couple of things that are related to that, that I wanted to talk about in this video. Again, they've been on my mind and I figured why not make a video? Maybe you guys um, may find some value in it. Maybe you will relate. So let's get into it right now. So we've noticed over the past couple of days, the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot of stuff in the global economy that has been affecting the stock market. You know, Mexico just got hit with tariffs. It was an immigration related tariff. You know, Trump does not want you know, illegal immigrants coming into the country. So he's slapping tariffs on uh, Mexico now. Those go in effect on June 10th and they progressively scale up all the way up to 25% in the month of October in 2018. So that's the whole new thing that has a way on the stock market, right? And everything else that's been going on in the global economy, most importantly, the tariffs and the trade war with China. These things have put an absolute weight on the stock market. So I've been getting a lot of questions like, you know, Stas, are you selling out of your long-term positions? You know, are you looking to liquidate everything now since the stock market is starting to fall? And then I, I think to myself, you know, a bunch of people, they have a fear whenever things start to go bad like this. They have a fear and then they simply just think short term. They think short term. They see all this news. The media is pushing it. And then they get caught in this little loop and they lose their long term vision. So they start freaking out. They start selling out of their companies, whether it's their long terms, you know, whatever it may be, right? You know, long term stocks, you know, value stocks, growth stocks, whatever it is, they start selling out as they see the prices start to drop and this makes them lose a ton a ton of money in the long term so the whole idea here guys is you know short-term things happen in the stock market right this like i mentioned in friday's video this may last a couple of months right until we come to a trade war with uh, trade deal with china maybe the mexico tariffs maybe they figure something out in the next couple of months that's like the best case scenario right in my personal opinion the stock market will likely rebound heavily after that does happen or it can last for another year, maybe year and a half, two years, you know, three years. And this can have an effect on the stock market that opens up a ton, a ton of opportunities. If you do have that longer term mindset, that longer term perspective of, let's say, 10 years. And if you're into a different strategy of investing, let's say you're into dividend investing, for example, you like buying into companies that are dividend aristocrats, they grow their dividends year after year. During this time of stock market price drops, let's say you're looking at, for example, like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, J&J, &J, you know, some of these big dividend names. During those times of price drops, what happens to their dividend yield? Their dividend yield shoots up, right? So if, you know, four per, Let's say it's 3% right now. If the stock were to drop 10, 15%, these are hypothetical numbers, the dividend might go up to 5%, 6% starting out. So not only do you get in at a lower price, you get in at a better starting dividend yield. And as time goes on, right, your yield on cost becomes better, right? And then pretty much your dividend continues to grow and grow and grow. Your average cost and everything, just the return is better over time. So I just really wanted to come on today and just nail in the fact that volatility is always around in the stock market. The markets are going to go up, the markets are going to go down. So if you're seeing, let's say your portfolio, you're seeing it go down 20% in a span of three months, then it goes back up 20%, and then it goes down five, up seven, down eight. If you can't really handle this volatility, and you can't stomach the fact that you're losing money one day, maybe the next month you're, you're making money, right? If you can't stomach that, 
maybe the stock market just isn't for you, right? You have to understand there's different asset classes, right? You can do stocks, you can do real estate, you can buy gold, you can buy silver, you can buy all of these different things, bonds, you know, there's a bunch of different things out there. And a lot of those are way more stable than the stock market. So maybe you have to ask yourself, is that a better route for me? But me personally, I know that I can stomach this, right? That's why I love the stock market. I've immersed myself into the stock market, long-term investing, you know, trading, right? I trade stocks a lot every single day, pretty much. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, you know, you have to understand the long-term mindset that goes into, you know, investing. You have to understand things happen in the short term, but if you have that long-term view, you will be able to capitalize on a ton, a ton of different things and, and businesses and products and systems that are created and a bunch of cool different stuff that's just going on every single day as the world continues to evolve, right? So if you can relate to this if you are a person that can stomach this let me know down below in the comment section and maybe if you're not into stocks and maybe if you can't handle it let me know in the comment section as well i would love to know you know and and see what your perceptions are what are your experiences with both avenues maybe the stock market maybe some other safer you know less volatile asset classes let me know down below in the comment section i would love to know so if you enjoyed this quick little video again hit that like i really do appreciate all you guys out they're doing that it supports me and supports the channel in general feel free to subscribe if you do want to see more content for me and if you did enjoy this video i'll catch you all in the next video peace out